the movie world has seen many celebrities with unlucky fate, but Heath Ledger's death still make people feel sad. Ledger passed away at the age of 29 when he was at the peak of his career, was very close to the award, the prestigious Oscar, but then he suddenly left. 13 years have passed, the death of Heath Ledger has no longer left a heavy obsession like the first day the bad news hit. But if he is still alive, his career will always be. What will happen now? How successful is it when you pass the age of 30 or 40? Well, that's something we never know. Ledger was born in Perth, Australia on 4th April 1979 to Sally Ledger Bell, a French teacher, and Father Kim Ledger, a race car driver and mining expert. Since childhood, Heath Ledger was known for his naughty and reckless behavior. Heath was called a rebellious boy who refused to sit still by his mother, but he had a passion for chess. At the age of 10, he won the Western Australian Junior Chess Championship. It was around that time that he found an interest in being the stage performer, and he played the lead role in the play Peter Pan by Guildford Grammar School. His older sister, Kate Ledger, was the one who supported him in his early acting career. We later credited with fueling his acting career. However, unfortunately, while Heath was enjoying the busy life of a 10-year-old, his parents decided to divorce. After graduating from high school, his best friend and him invited each other to Sydney to build a career. And when he chose film as his career, Heath Ledger always wanted to make sure that he wouldn't do anything to regret. If you take just one tiny thing out of your past, I believe it will change the position of everything else. So, I try not to have any regrets in life, certainly not about the movies I have made. In the new days of Hollywood, Heath Ledger, like many other good-looking boys, was looking for opportunities to appear on the screen. He has curly blonde hair, a bright smile, and the tanned skin that carries the breadth of birth in Western Australia. Heath's career turning point came in 1999, also love interest Patrick in 10 Things I Hate About You. With long romantic curly hair, handsome and lovely appearance, he got the heart of viewers the romantic scene at the end of the movie, when Patrick performed Can't Take My Eyes Off You at the football field. Through this breakthrough role, Heath Ledger is completely known and recognized by the international audience. Despite his young age and relative inexperience, he soon beat the Hollywood elite with leading roles in blockbuster movies. Mel Gibson cast him as his son Gabriel Martin in The Patriot 2000. In Monsters Ball, although not appearing too much, Ledger's Sunny still makes viewers remember forever. Especially when he says, Well, I always loved you. Until 2005, he was once again in the spotlight when he took on the lead role in a hitherto controversial film, Brokeback Mountain. At the time of the film's release, it faced extreme feedback from the audiences who thought it lost the image of America's cowboys. However, Ledger received the award Best Actor from both the New York Film Critics Circle and the San Francisco Film Critics Circle. He also received Golden Globe Awards nomination for the Best Actor, an Academy Awards nomination for Best Actor that makes him the ninth youngest person to be nominated for the Oscar, and that too at the age of 26. Although he missed the Best Actor category in his first Oscar nomination, it was okay because his career has since officially turned to a new page. Brokeback Mountain gives Ledger more than just a nomination, which is his girlfriend Michelle William the role of Anna's own wife in the movie. 
Like many other love stories, they met on set, fell in love, and decided to move in together in Brooklyn, where a year later, baby girl Matilda was born. Ledger's career peak was in the role of Joker. Christopher Nolan, a genius screenwriter and the director of The Dark Knight, has turned down a series of famous actors such as Adrian Brody, Steve Carroll. He has given the role to Heath Ledger for a long time. After many unsuccessful attempts to collaborate with him, including Batman Begins, Nolan wanted Ledger to play Batman. And the actor also showed an interest in Joker and immediately realized how to make the character fit into the overall tone of the film. A psychotic clown, multiple personalities, serial killers, and no sympathy. Three months of confinement in a hotel, when wearing a disguise, people see a monstrous Joker. People see a monstrous Joker appear, a smart but sick criminal who just wants to challenge Batman and not need any other benefits. When the media initially reported that Heath Ledger would play this legendary role, he received a lot of opposition. Simply because it is a stereotype for a young actor who possesses a handsome feature that is easily judged as celebrity airhead. However, when the film was released, all were conquered by Heath's one-of-a-kind acting. Wanna kill me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna kill you! His ecstatic transformation with a wild smile, a very personal ghost smile the ledger created made the audience unforgettable. And his eyes played with the world with the line, why so serious? Heath's talent turned Joker into the most beloved villain in movie industry. Overshadowing even the image of Batman in Batman, The Dark Knight reached more than 1 billion USD worldwide and won the Academy Award for Best Picture. This Oscar award for Heath Ledger but the talented guy can no longer step on the podium. In an interview with Empire Magazine in 2007, the actor said, I locked myself in a hotel, kept a diary, and experimented with character voices, Joker. The key is trying to find an iconic voice. And finally came across as a psychopath without conscience, a cold-blooded serial killer. Jack Nicholson, who was successful with the 1989 version of Joker, said that in order to get his hands under the skin of the clown, the actor would have to go crazy in some way. But Jack advised Heath don't go too far. However, the price to pay is not small at all. Too immersed in the role of Joker, Heath still cannot get rid of the obsessions about the Joker's thinking that makes it difficult for him to get out of the role. He only sleeps for two hours a day which makes him resort to sleeping pills to feel more peaceful. Insomnia, which had tormented Ledger for many years, made his state more and more severe. On the film set, it is said that he skated back and forth on the skateboard with the Joker's face intact talking normally with people. Many times he complained about sleeping too little. My head is always thinking, while my body is too tired. Many people do not know that was also the time when the actor reached his limit's edge. Heath Ledger turned to tranquilizers for psychological support and health, but those pills made the world officially lose a 29-year-old movie genius at the ripe stage of his career. On January 22, 2008, Ledger was found unconscious in bed at his Manhattan apartment. The maid discovered him lying face down on the bed in a nude state and immediately alerted the police. Emergency paramedics arrived at his apartment at 3.30 o'clock, but to no avail, at 3.36 o'clock, Heath Ledger was pronounced dead and his body was removed from the apartment. Autopsy reports indicate that the young star's death was caused by an overdose of sleep aids, combined with various other prescription drugs found in its home. Investigators believe his death was an accident. After his sudden departure, the world audience has forever lost the opportunity to see the Dark Knight's Joker. Everyone regrets that there is no longer a chance to see the next role of the person put the Joker in. 
Hollywood movie history, if fate were different, perhaps the world still has a gentleman Heath Ledger in his 40s with a glorious and vast film career ahead. Even so, the actor has also left the royal cinema with colorful roles, from the pompous and romantic Patrick to the quiet cowboy Annis with a warm smile that captivated the audience. At the 2009 Oscars night for Best Sporting Actor, the applause on the luxurious music became out of place without a smile in the auditorium. People are shocked. People are in tears. On the other stage, the person who should have been for the golden statue in his hand was not there to say thank you. It was the most glorious and heartbreaking moment when Heath Ledger, the star of The Dark Knight, died right at the peak of his career. He wants glory, but when fame came, he turned it down. Ten years after Heath Ledger's death, his sister Kate Ledger still feels his presence in her private life. I don't sit and talk about it or talk about him, I feel like he's always been with the family. To his co-stars, Heath Ledger is remembered as a dedicated actor, always curious to explore the boundaries of acting and possessing the sensitivity to understand the character he embodied. Actor Kristen Bell, who plays Batman, a very difficult person at work, said, I enjoyed working with Heath. He's a great co-star. I was looking forward to working with him more in the future. I've looked forward to being his friend for many years to come. Naomi Watts, who dated Heath Ledger for two years, did not hesitate to call him a special soul. Even though we have only been together for a few years, we already have a great relationship. He was a happy man who always laughed a lot and had a big influence on my life. And as a great actor, I know he would have gone so much further if he were still alive. When revealing Heath Ledger's diary during his days on The Dark Knight, his father Kim Ledger said, His action is very Heath. He always did. He liked to dig into the character but this time he had gone too far. After Heath Ledger's death, Michelle Williams took care of her daughter alone. It was perhaps the most difficult, lonely time she once shared in Porter Magazine. There is no one to share the joys and sorrows with. Every parent meeting, dance, birthday, holiday, first day of the new school year, every time she spends with her smile, I miss him because she looks more and more like her dad. I remember the moment I spent with him taking care of my daughter. The sudden death of her lover became an unrelenting obsession for Michelle Williams. Her mother and daughter were turned upside down when the media followed. She had to stop acting for air to stabilize her emotions and life. Today, friends and relatives of Heath Ledger still honor him with a scholarship fund called Heath Ledger Scholarship. The scholarship was established by the Australian Filmmaker Association in Los Angeles. Sponsored by the biggest stars of the Kangaroo country, the purpose of the scholarship is to help young talents have opportunities to come to Hollywood. And who knows, one day a new star will be born again. Throughout his life, Heath Ledger has always lived in the direction of freedom. Throughout his life, Heath Ledger has always lived in the direction of freedom, doing what he was passionate about with serious attitude. Money or awards never seemed to be his life's purpose. But new discoveries, interesting and profound findings about people and movies are what Heath Ledger always pursues. He found the diversity of characters and always desired to discover the depths within, both understand himself and explore the society and the world around him. After completing a part of that journey, Heath Ledger left everything, including his illustrious career and unforgettable impressions in the hearts of the audience as well as freeing himself from the noise, glamour of contemporary artists. Once a reporter asked him, if not becoming an actor, what would he do? He whispered, well, I don't know either, probably not doing much, just sitting on the beach. Perhaps, at a certain beach in the sky, he's still smiling when he sees the legacy he has left in the hearts of the audience. 
If you haven't enjoyed Heath Ledger's great performance in The Dark Knight, check it out. It's so impressive that to date, there has not been a better incarnation of eccentric criminal Batman's greatest enemy than Heath Ledger as Joker. I'm so proud of Heath Ledger and the great things he has created. An extraordinary energy inside an extraordinary actor. He was recognized in such a way. Christopher Nolan Thank you for seeing the video. If you like, please support my channel, like our videos, and subscribe to us K-pop entertainment channel. Bye!